Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at picking up objects and then throwing them. And um, so I've got a couple of scripts, I've got it all set up and what you're going to need is our player move script that I've used before um, and that's going to have a couple of extra things added to it. So if you use the one that I did before, um, I'll, send you, I'll send you a link if you haven't used it before. Uh, we have got a rigid body add force five times physical gravity just as I've got it set at the moment. Um, you can change, it's going to change depending on the size of your scene or whatever. Um, what we've also got is a screen show cursor and a screen lock cursor. Um, so we are locking it to the center of the screen um, and then unlocking it <coughs> and then redoing that on the update. And that isn't really ideal, but um, the way, what it does is it keeps the mouse right in the center and then it also, having the show cursor is false, it also then hides the cursor. Um, so that way it keeps the mouse in the middle and doesn't move. What we've also got is a script added to an object that we've got attached to our camera, um, which we've got inside our player. And um, just double check actually that your camera has the main camera tag because that is a problem that I've had before um, with this. Um, another thing we've got is our pick two object, which is just a, an invisible object um, just with a collider on it. It's actually just got a trigger on it and that's got one of our other scripts on it. And then we've got a pick two reference, which is basically the same thing, but it doesn't have the trigger at all. It's just, just an empty object um, in the same position and attached to the camera. And then our capsule hasn't got anything on it. And then the only other thing that's got anything done to it is our pickup cube, which has a, another script attached to it. And all of these objects are tagged. Uh, the player, the capsule is ta tagged as, it should be tagged as player. Um, the camera's main camera, the pick2 is called pick2, and the pick2 ref is called pickup ref, just because of the way that I had the script written, and the pickup cube is called pickup. And so let's look into our scripts and see what happens, see how it works, um, and then I'll show you what happens. So we've got our player move, we've got all that sorted out, and then we're going to look at our pick picked up objects, which is attached to our cube there, the actual object that we're going to be picking up, it can be attached to any of these objects, but you need to keep this script attached to all of them, um, and this is for throwing purposes. So what this does is it checks whether it's colliding with anything, um, so you can't throw it, say, if it's inside a wall, you can't throw it through a wall, um, so then you can't kind of glitch through the game. Um, so this has just literally got a variable of refuse throw, um, which is false to start with, so you can throw it to start with. Um, although you don't have it picked up so you can't. Um, we also then got our function on trigger enter uh, which I've used before um, and so that's got on trigger enter with capitals and then other which you can name whatever you want but I've just named it other um, and then if the other game objects tag isn't player so if it's anything other than player and the other game object tag isn't pick to and then it will, ref it will turn refuse throw to true so it can't throw when it's um, colliding with something that isn't the player or the object that it's moved to and then on the exit of those things it then changes it back to false so you can throw. 